Nicky uh, slept up here last night and he thought it was really cold, which probably it was. I slept on a blanket on, on, on the floor, which was okay, but yo, Nicky, how, what do you think about uh, let's trading tonight? I'm gonna sleep here, you sleep at my place. I'm okay. What the fuck? How will, we, how will we ever understand each other if we don't walk in each other's shoes? Nicky. Nicky! Let's, let's not understand each other. Y'all, I have you so fast. I was just chilling one day and then... John, are you trying to go to Barcelona with me and me? Let's go, let's go. Let me ask Nicky. Nicky, Barcelona in November. We out. Uh, it's gonna be a lovely day in Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> Which is gonna be the Deba temple, that's the Egyptian temple. And then I think we should be okay still to head over to the royal palace. Uh, we'll see if we wanna go in, but I feel like. We are at the Deba temple. I'm gonna explore it out. Yes, the Bog temple. The Bog. The It's really sunny. Actually, it feels pretty warm right now. Got it. kind of seems very classy and grand here. I like it. Ooh, what do you know these Girls. And what about them? The take. The same photo. You have to hold it because like I can't. A hundred times. It's the same photo. What's going Something on? Her head is that like I noticed totally that's the different here. here compared to America. It's all the buildings are very. Uh, I guess it's like much older than in America. So so there's a lot more ornament basically, and a lot more decoration on the outsides. So that's why it looks so like so fancy. I guess. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think it just adds to like the the vibe of it. Yeah, like a like a romantic vibe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> they must pay the gardeners here a lot of money because everything is well trimmed. I would invite myself. Yeah. Oh my god, he shakes his belly. Where? The giant koala. Where? Oh. You can't miss it. You can't. You can't miss the giant koala. Coins are worth so much more money here, which is really nice, I guess. So you can give people a little more with the change in your pocket. I find that these tourist attractions are much better than New York. Some 
singers in the back over there. It's very epic. I don't really know anything of what this is, but it is nice. I'm gonna do some research on it. Anybody have any idea what where we are, what this is? That's the royal palace, and that's the cathedral of Al. different from Europe than the United States is that there are these like really like big microphones like two microphones facing back to back on um, a lot of the streets in Madrid thank you in a lot of the streets in Madrid and they make like a lot of announcements on it throughout the day and I think it's kind of cool that they can do that because in New York City we <laughs> we can't do that so there's a Big parade here for actually November 9th is a holiday in Madrid called La Almudina, which is the patron saint of the city. It's when the people of Madrid venerate La Virgen de la Almudina. So there's a cool little parade here. We're it's not anywhere close to that. The, the <laughs> What part of your upbringing makes you different? What makes me different? I would say it's, uh, I guess, growing up with two older sisters. I feel like I had three moms, um, which really made me, um, I guess I was forced to be more considerate of others around me. Um, yeah. So cute, right? So this whole market is filled with tapas and you just kind of grab and taste everything. It's pretty cool. A lot of people though, a lot of people. But we got a lot of tapas too. It's quite an experience. They're about sharing small bites. They want to try most, lots of things. It's the smoked salmon corner. With slam and salmon, the only problem is it's super packed in here. There's like no good place to eat. At least that's what I think. I don't know. Maybe there is later. Someone try it. Okay, good. Mmm. <laughs> this one? Is this one? This one is the same. I think so. Mm. <laughs> this one's very popular. I like that one. Mmm. So many different salmon flavors. So many options. So good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can get any calamari at home. Maybe that way. Take it away. Okay. I start eating it and I'm like, I don't know what I'm eating, honestly. That's good. It's very seafood It's good. What we got here is a melted goat cheese. It's a, it won uh, one of their top awards for Madrid in 2013 or something. And it with some bread right now. Mm. I feel like, I know I've said this before, but all the food here is like really strong and intense and it lingers in your mouth. So like everything is kind of like meant to be eaten with um, something to wash it down with, like a wine or a beer or even this Coca-Cola. Tapas. Bunch of flavors. I think something that was unique to my upbringing is that um, because English was not m either of my parents' first language, even though my mom speaks it relatively well now, growing up I had to translate a lot of things for them, whether, whether it was like a uh, mail document or a McDonald's order. And it's weird being better at your parents than something. Growing up, I was never really proud of my parents in that way. And now that I'm older, like looking back, I guess I can say that I'm proud of my parents for like the life change that they made to come here so that I can have a better life. But growing up, I think I was just, I was just disappointed in them. Everyone in this world is different. Every single person is shaped by different circumstances. Like your living conditions, societal expectations, or the people we meet and the places we go. The Buen Retiro Park, literally Park of the Pleasant Retreat, is one of the largest parks of the city of Madrid. The park belonged to the Spanish monarchy until the late 19th century, and, and then it became a public park. 
just finished seeing the park. It was really classy, really nice. But now we're gonna head over to maybe a little coffee shop or something, get some churros, because Yan really likes them, and just chill until we head back to the plaza. I think it's good to travel and explore. Putting yourself in other people's shoes is important. Eventually, we'll come to realize that we're not all that different. We come to feel sadness, laughter, and happiness all the same. And what you said after that? I miss rice. <laughs> I'm tired of getting wrecked. 